What if we nuke stuff? Or how about we make this elephant explode? Or who could forget? Look at this thing. It's really big. Imagine a fleshy cube. Which is unfortunate, since food is not optional. In one instant, basically all of humanity gets smashed into red puddles. Imagine having eight full water bottles sticking to you when you leave the shower. This is funky and doesn't explode, which is progress. Pitch black and under a thousand atmospheres of pressure, it's a relatively pristine environment thanks to the absence of humans. A great place for our nuclear test. It helps us explain things, clowns around in the background, or dies a horrible and avoidable death. And even then, you only have a mini-copy that needs years to become remotely useful. Still, the best beef is worse than the worst plant. But others say it can cause cancer and lead to an early death. Look at your body. It's mainly squishy, gooey, soft stuff. We get to experience feelings. First, you need to find someone who thinks you're cute. Science doesn't do a lot to make this less depressing. Unfortunately, your enemies in the tiny world have a huge advantage. Elephants, swans and baboons that look like monsters right out of nightmares. More than 1,000 people have got their own bird. Elephants are huge meat sacks filled with trillions and trillions of little coal ovens. There's another serious issue, technological explosions and the first strike advantage. If we look at our history, it becomes clear we are dangerous. Like pregnant women, the murder university of your thymus. For a few more hours, the illusion of continuity was upheld until it was not anymore. A few hundred or thousand years can turn conflict with uncertain results into a one-sided massacre. Our giant mouse looks very uncomfortable for a moment, and then it explodes. Parts of the solar system are far away, but they could be very close. Let's stop time. Here, we see the unnamed asteroid about to commit speciesite. A lot of the debris yeeted into space will orbit Earth for thousands of years. For sure, tsunamis hundreds of meters high would destroy coastal cities, earthquakes would level countries, new volcanoes would bring us nuclear winter. A big thing that spins and becomes smaller spins faster. First, our now tiny elephant stumbles around and then drops dead. The more animals suffer, the better they are in terms of climate change because they are way more efficient. You can imagine what happens next by imagining tossing a ball at a wall and it coming back faster than a bullet. How to steal energy from a monster. All you need to do is throw something massive at a planet to make it uninhabitable. Or we could blow it up. A good way to explain this is by asking you to imagine an army of cooks. If you come too close, they'll devour you and add your energy to their collection, which is a bad thing if you like living. Right now, it's like going up a mountain on a unicycle with a backpack full of explosives. We learn that we're made of many little dead things, which make up bigger things that are not dead for some reason. If we don't do anything, it will slow down and crash into the atmosphere. But here's our cheat code. We can steal this energy. The dog breaks all of its bones and dies in an unspectacular way, and the elephant explodes into a red puddle of bones and insides and has no chance to be annoyed. Imagine having to eat 2,000 Big Macs a day. How many dinosaur giraffes were there? Our videos induce existential dread in many people, and the last few minutes probably haven't helped. If you learned anything in this video, let us know what it was.